Hello, welcome to the Installing Ansible and the Juniper Ansible Collection Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Thank you for being here. Let's get started. After completing this Learning Byte, you will be able to install Ansible and the Juniper.device Ansible Collection. The Juniper.device Ansible Collection is a series of freely available Python modules that enable you to manage your Junos OS platforms using Ansible playbooks. These modules are freely available. You can download them from Ansible Galaxy. Collections are replacing the traditional Ansible roles. So Ansible has kind of changed the way they would like this content to be organized and distributed. Now, the Juniper.device Ansible collection leverages the Junos PyEZ Python library to connect to your managed devices. For this learning byte, I used an Ubuntu workstation. This is what I use to manage my Junos platforms. Since it's an Ubuntu workstation, I use the apt get utility to install Ansible. Now, now Python must already be installed, Python version 3. And so I install Ansible. And then remember that the Juniper.device collection leverages the Junos PyEZ Python library to handle connecting to the managed devices. So once Ansible is installed, I can use pip3 to install Junos EZNC, that's Junos PyEZ. And a lot of the communication between an Ubuntu workstation and Junos managed devices uses XML. So there are two XML libraries that are required by this collection. And then finally, once these processes are complete, the Juniper.device Ansible collection is available in Ansible Galaxy. So I can run the Ansible Galaxy collection install Juniper.device command. Now I'm going to connect to my Ubuntu workstation and show you what this library looks like after installation. This is my Ubuntu administrator workstation that I use to manage my Junos devices. I'm simply going to run a tree command. Now I'm logged in as a user named lab. So in slash home slash lab, that this is my working directory, I'm going to run a tree command. All of my collections are stored in the dot ansible folder in my current working directory. Let me scroll up and we'll take a look. And under dot ansible collections ansible collections here's the juniper dot device collection that we installed using the ansible galaxy command there's some documentation included with the collection there's also a list of files present and also a manifest that describes the contents of this actual collection and then you'll see the python modules organized under the plugins section and also listed as modules. And so when you execute, when you run an Ansible playbook that leverages the Juniper.device collection, these are the Python modules that are used. You'll also see under the connection directory, here's the Junos PyEZ library. Now remember, the Juniper.device collection leverages that library to handle establishing the actual connections to the device to perform the Ansible tasks. And so this is an example of installing Ansible and the Juniper.device collection. In this learning by, we saw how to install Ansible and the Juniper.device Ansible collection. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.